Use goons ready to make some money? Yeah! And let's start making it the old-fashioned way. By printing it! So move it, use goons! Mr. Lindbergh wants 25 billion counterfeit dollars by 5 o'clock or around! Ain't nothing like the smell of fresh printed fake money in the morning. It's like music to my nose. Say, hey, speaking of music, what's that? Uh-oh. What's it mean, baby? I'll tell you what it means. It means we got mice battle stations! <laughs> I knew if we'd fall in three spring, he'd lead us to Limburger's loot. No wonder he can afford to buy up all of Chicago. He prints his own money. Well, it's time we put a little kink in his cash flow. Let's say we spin around some of Limburger's dough, huh, boys? <laughs> We're in the moolah. We're in the moolah. We got more than enough. Not my mind. It takes the whip some tail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Donnie, Marie, would you save the harmonizing for later? Well, if you don't like our tunes... How's about some sweet Georgia Brown? Mm. <laughs> oh, they're playing our song! Rolling in it now. You know, you boys really ought to think about a more honest future. Oh, uh, I worry more about your own future, my good friend. Looks like I got your tail in the ring. You got tigers by the tail, oil bread. Let us go. You're gonna be a smoking grease stain on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, biker babies? Don't you want to see your face on money? Along with the rest of you. <laughs> Talk about being pressed for cash. It's gone. Woe is me. 
Uh, I knew he was in trouble the minute I heard that stinking heavy metal music. Will you shut up about heavy metal? Yeah, that's the music the mice is always playing when they kick our... That's it. Uh, what's it, Marge? Gold is a heavy metal. Yes, oh. So, dear boy, I believe Chicago is expecting the arrival of an automated train filled with Alaskan gold. And I believe it will be arriving today. And, uh, you want me to rob the train, boss? No, you pitiful poltroon. You'd never be able to pull it off. I shall turn this task over to the most terrifying talent in three galaxies. That monstrous heavy metal maniac. You mean? Yes, dear boy. Hard Rock? Oh, he's my fave. <laughs> I got all his hate tracks. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant to ain't Newton. What's taking so long, you cranial cretin? <laughs> there appears to be a certain resistance. <laughs> My dear lad, how good to see you again. Oh, shut your blooming yeah, you stinking pile of Plutarchy and pork. You, didn't you see the not available sign next to my transporter coordinates? Well, I uh, assumed it was a misprint. <gasps> now send me back. It's just a small job. Rob a gold train and get rid of some meddlesome mice. Look. Maybe I need to make it clearer, Fishface. I don't work for Plutarch anymore. Now send me back. Oh, dear. Dear me. I'm afraid I really must insist. Oh, yeah? You and what army? Well, since you ask... This army. Oh, <laughs> I see your point. Well, I expected you might. Now... Since the gold train isn't anticipated to arrive for a few more hours, you may begin by disposing of the biker mice. And I advise you not to fail me. Now go! Excitable, but extremely effective. You better keep an eye on our musical metal man. We nailed the big cheese, but good today. Yep, let's go celebrate. Mouse style. Ooh, hot dog. And a heavy metal. Root beer. And rock and roll. <laughs> oh, man, it just doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> wow! Nothing could spoil this day. Losing the root beer bottle opener could. You better hang on to it. Yeah! Quick, the metal bros! How long have you guys been in the heavy metal? Always will be. Except for that one time. Yeah, some lousy creep nearly spoiled it for us. His name was Hard Rock. Oh, man, that rocker had one bad attitude. He tore up a lot of territory on Mars during the Plutarchian War. <laughs> Heard a lot of innocent folks. met him again, man, we'd strip the strings from his guitar. For keeps. No, it can't be. It's Hard Rock. He's got Charlie. Yeah, and we got trouble. Moto, get Charlie. Vinny and I'll handle these newcomers.
one-on-one, -on -one, so let the lady go. There. Happy now? Or should I raise me hands, too? What are you up to? Yeah, we were gonna watch him take you apart. Ain't no fun if you surrender. You know, I'll get the impression you blokes don't like me. <laughs> don't like you? <laughs> Sweetheart, I'd rather kiss Limburger on the lips than be on the same planet with you. <laughs> hey, it's just your standard hero talk. Macho stuff, you know. You destroyed half our planet. Don't you remember us? I destroyed a lot of places. Too many to remember. But that was then. This is now. That's not my gig anymore. What are you saying? You've gone straight. That's right. You see, I met this wonderful girl. Darla, her name is. She changed me. For her sake, I'm not evil no more. Come on. What a bill of goods. I don't know. Yeah. Limburger didn't believe it either. He brought me here. Told me to destroy you. I pretended I would. But I was actually coming to warn you of his plans. Now, just a minute. You crashed into us. An accident. I apologize. You grabbed Charlie. Trying to get her to safety. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, you shot at me. I had to make you move faster. Those four-wheelers would have landed on you. Well, you had Limburger's goons with you. I didn't know. Limburger must have had them follow me. Well, that's an interesting story, Hard Rock. But there's just one little problem. Oh, yeah? What's that? I don't buy it. Yeah, why should we believe you? Uh, uh, could I say something here? What? I'd just like to say that I think he's telling the truth. And I'd like to hear more about this Darla. Uh, hello, Mr. Limboiger. I got some news I think yous are gonna find real interesting. I think that hard rock ain't nothing but a hard head. Man, I can't believe Charlie talked us into this. Well, look at it this way. Hard Rock wants to get back to Darla, and we want him off our planet. Yeah, same goal, different reasons. Can't you guys see that love has changed this man's life? Besides, you guys are way too sweet to nurse a grudge this long. Yeah, well, don't count on it, Charlie. Gosh, lighten up, will ya? You don't know my past. I can't say as I'll blame him. Listen, pal, only reason we're going along with this is because bad as you were, Limburger's worse. And in our book, that gives you a running head start, but that's all. We still want you out of here. That's right. And to do that, we need to get you to Limburger's transporter machine. The train's arrival is imminent, my dear doctor. I must acquire that gold. Never fear, my fragrant fromage. Your agent of acquisition is about to arrive. All right, freeze, fish soup. We just need to borrow your transporter for a minute. Seems your friend here wants to go home. We're here to make sure you give him a nice, safe ride. Oh, I do apologize, my dear biker mice, but I fear that's not possible. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Uh, let me point out a little something you may not have realized, cheese face. <laughs> you see, we're holding all the cards here. I mean, we've got the numbers. We've got the guts. And we've got the guns. So basically, you just better back off. <laughs> true. All true. But you see, I have the ace in the hole. You see, I have invited darling Darla as an incentive, shall we say. That's Darla? If you don't mind me asking, what's so special about her? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Look, what is it you want, you polluted Plutarchian? Simply your surrender. Or this frantic young female will be fricasseed for you. <laughs> Golden vision. With the wealth that train contains, I'll be able to purchase half this planet for Plutarch. No! I told you, mate, I won't be a villain anymore. Ah, but you forget that you no longer have a choice. The lives of your newfound compatriots, not to mention that of your sweet companion, depend upon your cooperation. And if I do it, what then? They will not be harmed. You have my word as a gentleman. They better not be. Darla, I'm sorry, but I've got no choice. Every time I try to get out, they pull me back. Soon 
that glorious gravy train of glittering gold will cram the corrupt coffers of Limburger Incorporated. Uh, yes, your provolone princeliness. And in the meantime, what shall we do with these prisoners? Dispose of them. Slowly and painfully. What? Why, you lousy lump of corrupting cheddar, you gave your word! If my word was worth anything, I wouldn't be much of a villain, now would I? Ta-ta! <laughs> Opener? Yeah, I think it's still in my pocket. Cool. If I could just get it. <laughs> Only a few more seconds, you revolting rodents, and you'll be turned into mouse mojos. A few more seconds is all I'm gonna need. And we're going for takeout. We're back. We're back. We're mice and we're mad. His name is Boo Boo. <laughs> well, no. Oh, I think it's a wonderful name. Yeah, well, sister, you must be in love. So I guess we better get the two of you back together. I should do it. Now for the gold. <laughs> Who are you? Well, then you got a choice, pal. If we have to blast him, we'll blast you too. I won't do it. Okay. Good decision. You chaps are the greatest. How can I thank you for saving my lady? Haven't you heroes forgotten something? Drop your weapons or this guard is a goner. Limburger sent us to get this gold. And we're gonna get it. But, Bill, do you think they ought to get it? Dearest, I can't think of anyone who deserves to get it more. Right you love. <laughs> You know, I'm starting to understand what you see in her. Vincent, express run to Limburger Tower. The Midnight Special coming through! Woo! Well, if you're ever in Chicago, ooh, Limburger, you better do right. You better not steal. Well, you better not fight. They won't be able to save the train. <laughs> I'll still get all that glorious gold. Uh, 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 yes, your cheesiness. You certainly are going to get it. What? <laughs> no! 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 Run, green citizens! I miss my train. <laughs> I can't thank you, Biker Mice, enough. You know, you're more than brave and heroic. You're rather forgiving blokes, too. Yeah, Boo Boo and Roy will never forget you. Well, it's better to make a new friend than beat an old enemy. Even if that new friend is named <laughs> Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind them, love. They're good chaps. Let's just go home, all right? But how will you get there? You, you guys trash Carbuncle's transporter machine. Well, we thought we'd take the scenic route back. The, the scenic, scenic route? route? That's right. 
Ta-ta, blokes. Ride free, citizens. Look us up sometime, yeah? I wonder if she has a sister. Oh, man. Ow! What? What? We see the same old thing Ain't no root beer upon the table Ain't got no hot dogs in the pan But you better not complain, boys Oh, the cheese will hit the fan Let the midnight special